I like Pyro's recent video on determinism. Um, I've always suspected that it's a matter of faith as opposed to a matter of um, deduction or examination or whatever. Um, but an interesting, but I, I'm not really, I don't really want to argue that here. Um, an interesting um, objection was raised by Neo Skeptic saying that Pyro doesn't understand what determinism is. And that's an interesting objection to Pyro's video, or at least critique of his video. And I think that it's, it would be interesting to raise that question. Now, one interesting way of approaching it is, is determinism a matter of what is happening or what does exist? Or is it a matter of what isn't happening or what doesn't exist? Because you get caught up in this dichotomy of free will versus determinism that I pretty much feel may be a false dichotomy here. Um, because I see evidence of determinism in reality in the film strip that Pyro refers to, the information stream, or the image I use is looking into the mouth of the monster with all of becoming, coming out of its mouth. Um, same idea, I think. <coughs> um, there is that in the film strip which is under our control and that which isn't. Um, that's Epictetus, right? And that which isn't under our control I would call determined, or at least necessary, as in necessity. Um, as I say, right now, I'm looking at a webcam. I am, whether I want to or not. There, boom, that's determined, right? But I am looking at it. Something is looking at that webcam and placing value on it, right? <coughs> So something, there, there are two opposing principles or forces or whatever going in opposite directions. There's the will and then there's necessity. Pyro refers to the will. Um, and, and the will doesn't have to be free. As I say, that's the, the false dichotomy that I think is inserted into it without people even realizing that it's being inserted into the discussion. Just having a will kind of makes mincemeat of at least hard determinism. Um, and it doesn't matter if our will is created by something else or determined by something else. If it is a will, then it has to act as though it is a will, right? Um, and if you're going to say the will doesn't exist, okay, then we're back to the original question, right? What is determinism about? Is it about a presence? About a process, or is it about the absence of something, or the absence of a process? What are we arguing here? Are we arguing for something, or are we arguing against something? Um, it's never clear. It's a huge question. <laughs> I think it goes to the very heart of the fundamental question. What is reality? What is the universe? What is the phenomenal existence of everything, or non-existence, or whatever. What is this? Um, ontologically speaking, what is the universe? Um, I do agree with Pyro that a lot of it is faith, and a lot of it, I get this strong impression that people on both sides of the equation, mind you, and probably in equal measure, perhaps not in this circle, but in equal measure, People fear certain answers. Um, say, for example, I don't believe in hard determinism, or I'm not convinced by it. I'll put it that way. I think that there is that which is necessary and that which is in our control. Um, but if I lived, or if I became completely convinced that we live in a purely deterministic universe, that might have a negative effect on my sanity. Um, it's not so much that 
it's a frightening thought. It's just that my mind doesn't work that way. Um, so I have kind of a, a visceral attachment to the idea of the will. Not free will, but the will. Um, if, however, um, I were to sort of have my mind shattered by the sudden realization that we do live in a purely determined universe, what is it about that that would shatter my mind? What's so terrifying to come to terms with that fact? Um, why would I really be opposed to it? It's simply that my mind works along certain rutted paths here, and I think all of our minds do. I think it's in the nature of minds to, to become rutted. Um, and I would be wrenched out of those ruts and cast headlong into a vortex of the unknown. My mind can't wrap itself around a purely determined universe, and yet if I'm faced with that, incontrovertibly, well, existential panic, anyone? The reverse could be true for certain other people who, because of a visceral attachment to the idea of hard determinism, some means of making sense of this reality, um, an anchor, if you will, as, uh, it, uh, as surely as anyone whose mind works in those ruts that I refer to, um, it's an anchor, right? If I have a visceral belief in the will, or a visceral conviction of the will, or if, if I just have this sort of feeling that the will exists, to be shown concrete evidence that it doesn't, um, would, could throw me into, a, as I say, a state of existential panic. Um, because conviction that there is a will is one of my anchors, right? Somebody else might be, you know, swing to the other um, tendency. One of their anchors is a belief that we live in a universe that fundamentally makes sense and is mechanical and predictable. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm reading the mindset of a determinist correctly here. Um, but I'm just trying to sort of probe here to see what would be a reason to have a visceral attachment to determinism. Um, I would assume that it's an anchor. We all have anchors, right? When those anchors are cut, <clears throat> when the rope on the anchor or the chain on the anchor is cut, we're in unknown waters all of a sudden. We don't know where we are. Nothing makes sense anymore. We're terrified. Um, how would you argue that, though? Like, Pyro seems to be arguing it. Um, I, think, I think all we can do, really, ultimately, is speculate. And that kind of thing tends to end up being ad hominem fallacies, I think. Not very productive. Um, the only thing that I would caution against is the degree of, I don't know, gut level feeling involved here on both sides. Um, I admit that a determined universe simply doesn't make sense to me no matter how I try to approach it. I agree on a personal level with Pyro that determinism is stupid. What am I going to do if I'm shown evidence that it isn't stupid? There you go. Um, that, I think, is why people cling to these things, or why they even cleave to them in the first place. A very, very, very interesting debate, if you ask me, and I find myself chronically incapable of taking sides here, at least in terms of hard determinism, and some sort of free will. There's a lot of stuff in between there. As I say, the will simply doesn't have to be free. It can simply exist. Um, the question that I asked Neoskeptic, what is determinism then? You could just as easily ask yourself, what is the will?